What's up guys, Momo Jerry here and Granny Longboarding, as always. But it's kind of down really fast now. Not sure if you can hear me, but there's a school bus behind me somewhere over down that way. I'm here to bring you an episode about Pokemon Go. And it's the cost of Stardust and the cost of powering up Pokemon and Pokemon Go too high because you only get 100 Stardust per capture. And to get 100,000 Stardust, you need to capture about 1,000 or so Pokemon. Which is a really crazy idea to think about, catching that many Pokemon. But you live, if you live in, you know, urban areas where there's a bunch of Pokestops, a bunch of Pokemon, you're able to do that. But in rural areas, it's hard to get the Pokemon, get the Pokeballs to capture all the Pokemon. And the cost of powering up Pokemon is too damn high. It really is. Because if you want, let's say, to get a Bulbasaur, your starter Bulbasaur, that you catch that when you catch it, it's at 10 CP. If you want to get it maxed out, you need to use like 300 candies and like 300,000 or 200,000 Stardust. It's ridiculous. It is plain, absolutely ridiculous to need to use that much Stardust to power up one Pokemon. And if you want an entire team of really good Pokemon, that's absolutely ridiculous. You can't do it. If you want a team of car, if you want like a team of legendaries that you just recently caught, they're not going to be maxed out because you have to go for Pokemon to Pokemon to Pokemon. And the double status events are cool. But it's not enough really. They have to cut the cost to power up Pokemon and Pokemon Go. They really do. And hatching eggs is a way you can alleviate the problem. Because some eggs give you anywhere from like 700 to a few thousand Stardust. I think a 5K egg I hatched the other day came like 791 Stardust. So that's like catching almost eight Pokemon. That's great. However, when you think about the fact that you can't use that often or it's hard to get that Stardust because you only get one free incubator and if you want if you want to hatch more eggs, you need to get more incubators. And the only way to get more incubators in today's age is by Having, holding three gyms for three days and on each day one gym is knocked out so you get the Pokemon and the coins from that one gym you have to do that three times that's 150 coins that's one incubator so if you like a pay to uh, free play a free to play Pokemon player that's gonna be difficult to hatch all those eggs to get the Stardust it's not gonna be easy and it's crazy. And watch the video over here. I'm gonna catch two Dratinis. So that Dratini, the first one I caught was bad. The second one I caught was really good. Am I going to use Stardust and Candy to upgrade it to the max to evolve into a Dragon Knight? Hell no. Because that is a gigantic investment. That would be 300,000 Stardust, 300 Candy. No, I could get like two other Dratinos into Dragon Knights with 300 candies. So to have to use that much or to have to sacrifice powering up one Pokemon and evolving another sucks. Like, I mean, they did implement that if you feed berries to Pokemon, you get 20 Stardust each. But you have 200 Stardust, you need to feed, I don't know, 20 berries? Right. 
and that's ridiculous. Who would really want to do that? To get 2,000 starters, you need to feed, what, 100 bears? Math. Yeah, so that's a lot of berries. That means you have to go to a lot of gyms. But that's only 2,000 stardust. That will barely, barely put a Pokemon up one level. And Pokemon's levels go all the way up to 38.5. It's your level minus 1.5. I, I believe. Something like that. And so you won't be able to do anything and to get the Pokemon even to level 80 because that's how far as they go. Right? Something like that. To power it up to power level like 80 or something is like 10,000 Stardust each level. And then you need 10 candies on top of that. And I think it even goes higher and it's just, it's ridiculous. They need to change the amount of Stardust we use to evolve and to power up our Pokemon. Well, we don't need to use any Stardust to evolve them, but to power up you definitely do. I personally just don't like it. So they have to either decrease the amount of Stardust we need to power up a Pokemon, or increase the amount of Stardust we get from captures and egg hatches. And I'm not even sure if you get any starters from raid battles. Do you get any? Who knows? If you do know, comment down below and tell me if you actually do get starters when you capture, capture the Pokemon that you do a raid battle with. And I guess if you capture the raid boss, do you get starters? I don't know. Tell me down below. But what do you think about the starters, guys? Do you think it's too much? Do you think that they really should cut down the cost? Do you think they should increase the amount of starters we get? What are your opinions and everything? What are your comments? Please put them down below so I can hear them all. And I'm really interested in hearing them. And just tell me what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe and as usual, I'll catch you later.